Hello, today we're going to make a simple compression system using Python. You can, however, use a different programming language such as Java, C++, C Sharp, whatever the case may be, I'll be using Python. And the algorithm that we will be using is run length encoding. And basically what it says here is run length encoding is a format of fastest data compression in which runs of data are stored in a single data value and count rather than as the original run. And by runs, it means, uh, let's say we have, uh, like in this example, a bunch of W's. That's a single run of W's. So basically what this does, it's, it transforms all these W's and B's to this short, um, this short piece of uh, line. So I'm going to start doing i'll start creating a variable called text and it's going to be i copied it from the wikipedia so we know that we are getting the correct results and basically well we are going to create some functions later on but what we want to do is we want to do another variable called compressed text equal to encode which is going to be a a a function and we want to encode the text. So to make sure that the that it has encoded correctly, well, before that, we are going to print, I want to do f compressed text equals equal compressed text okay so once we have that now we are going to make sure if we have it right or wrong so we are going to do assert compressed text equal and I'm going to copy this equal to this and we need to put the double quotes or it will be wrong and let's say that it gives us an error so what we're going to do is um, say expected this but we obtained we obtained this which is going to be compressed text Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we are going to do the same for the decoding. So decompressed text equals decode compressed text. And we want to do a print F uh, compressed compressed text equals sorry about that equals the compressed text and it's with a lowercase t so that's almost it the last thing is to do the assert so assert, we'll just do a compressed, te a compressed text equals to text. So basically if this is not right, or this is not right, it, well, if this is not right here, it's going to execute this. It's going to show this, this is going to show in the console. And if not, if this is not right, another thing will show in the, in the console saying blah, 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 blah. blah. So, basically we are going to start doing the functions and i'm going to actually start with the decoding it's a bit simpler and i want you to do it the easy way and for the encoding i'll do it after and i want you to do it the harder way but way more optimized way and you'll understand why so we're going to do def decode and uh, input we want the output 
and we want to start the output at nothing basically we also want an amount string which is going to be equal to nothing and we want to do for char in input we want to do if char is digit no it's not capital D my bad is digit what we want to do is we want to add to the amount string so amount str plus equals char if this is not the case however what we want to do is we want to do the amount equals int amount str and the output will be equal to char multiplied by the amount and this basically will give us like all the w's the b's and whatnot and we need to set back the amount string to nothing and then we need to return the output so this is like the easy way basically of of doing this but it's it's a lot more taxing okay so now I'm going to show you the good way of doing it, the way like a real programmer would approach doing this problem. So, def encode input, and we want it to f len of input equals zero. We directly want to return nothing an empty string so we want to have that out of the way so once we have that done we want a counter and it's going to start at one we want a previous char which is going to be equal to input zero so basically it's going to be the first character of the string. So we need an output. We need to declare the output. So the output is going to be equal to an empty array. And we now want to do a for loop. So for char in, in input, and we want to start at one. And that's how we want to do it basically. So once we have that done, what we're going to do is count equals one. Sorry, I'm missing something. No, we want to do first enough statement. So if char does not equal the previous char, we want count equal to one. We, w we want uh, the previous char equal to char and what we want to do is we want to output that append since it's a list f open brackets and we want to put count and we want to open brackets again and we want to put previous char so basically what this does the next lines do is just reset the count and the previous char so if this is not the case we need an else the count is going to be equal to plus one and once we have that done, we can return 
and we are going to do empty string dot output sorry not out that output that join output and basically the reason why this is better a better approach to to, to creating the function than this one is because in this one we're not copying and pasting um, strings the like the code isn't doing that basically the code isn't really doing much with the strings that's the idea so this is going to be much much more efficient so basically what it's going to do is going to append so it's going to like what it depends it's going to be joined to the to the output which is going to then be returned so if we execute this nothing should be wrong we have an assertion error okay expected 12w okay let's see how we can fix this i'm sorry about that my bad i had a few errors i had here i wrote instead of input i, I wrote input so make sure you write input you probably saw that and over here at decompressed text i had the the t with a capital t for some reason and another thing you want to basically add add this again over here after the for loop actually what you could do is you could do else output and this should work and i also had an, another when i was looking for the errors i re, i also realized that this has to be decompressed not compressed but let's just run it and you'll see that uh, you'll see the warning you see assert compressed blah 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 warning so if we do the compressed text we get the compressed text here and the compressed text over here so this is a very simple way of encoding um, encoding strings but it i'm showing to show you the wikipedia page because it says what what it's good for so graphic images like icons line drawings the game of life animations and other things are really good for this kind of encoding and this is just like the tip of the iceberg we only did it with with strings but you could do you could make it better you could add numbers to the strings and whatnot which is, would be like a good exercise because right now our program does not support strings with numbers and basically you could just make it way more better but this is just a nice exercise to do and it's pretty simple so i thought i would make it so if you enjoyed it and want more content like this make sure to like and subscribe so see you in the next one bye